In the last few presentations, we completed the implementation of half adder and full adder by using the NAND and NOR gate only. Now in this one, we are going to implement the half subtractor by using the NAND gate only. So this is sometime an important question in the exam. They will ask you to implement the half subtractor or full subtractor or adder by using the NAND gate only or by using the NOR gate only. And if you have not practiced it earlier, then definitely there is a chance that you may be stuck at that point. So let's move to it directly. You already know what a half subtractor is. You know how this table has been written. You know how this expression has been written and the implementation of the circuit. But for the one who don't know and also for the revision purpose, let me brush it up in 30 seconds and then we will move to the NAND gate implementation part. So here A, B are the two numbers. Both of them are the single bit number because it is a half subtractor. It will subtract only a single bit number. And I want to subtract B from A. Okay. And there are four possibilities. Okay. Because there are two variables. So zero is A and zero is B in the first case. And if I subtract zero from zero, definitely the difference D is zero and also the output borrow will be zero. Similarly, if I subtract one from zero, I have to take the borrow so the borrow output will be 1 and once I took the borrow the 0 will become 2 and 2 minus 1 the difference will be 1 if you are having problem understanding this how it will be 2 by taking the borrow go to the playlist and search one of my lectures in which I explain the binary difference or subtraction of the binary numbers it will be clear to you then 0 subtracted to the 1 I am having the difference 1 and there is no borrow required so borrow is 0 and 1 minus 1 very simple difference is 0 as well as the borrow is 0 and you can see that the difference is what odd ones detector whenever there is odd one on the left hand side the D is high which means that it is a X or operation so D is equal to A X or B and B output is very simple it is high only for one case when A is low and B is high so A complement B and I have implemented it just by using a XOR gate a AND gate and a NOT gate for A complement now let's move to the NAND gate implementation part I have to implement this thing okay so I will first go for the difference and for difference you can clearly see that I require a XOR gate and I will try to make a XOR gate by using the minimum possible NAND gates so let's do it let's make a XOR gate by using a NAND gate you are going to require four NAND gate for implementing a single XOR gate now the first number is your A and the second number is your B I will give A as one of the input to this NAND gate and I will also give B as the second input to this two input NAND gate now the output of this gate will act as the second input for this two NAND gates this one and this one and the output of this two NAND gates will act as two of the inputs for this two input NAND gate the last NAND gate here and the output of this gate will definitely be our difference which is a x or b okay it's very simple it is very easy to prove it you just follow the gates and uh, at this point find the function at this point find the function and finally at this point try to find out the function you will see that it is equal to a x or b i have done it in two lectures so if you are following my lectures then definitely you know how to do these things it is something that I'm not going to explain you right now you just know that yeah this particular configuration gives you XOR as its output now the only thing left is A complement B so we are not going to make the bunch of NAND gate to implement first the A complement and then to implement the AND operation it is actually the not optimization of the gates okay you are going to use lots of gate which is not your actual answer you will lose your marks in that so what we will do we will try to find out some point in this configuration from where our task is going to be easier so let's see how to do it at this point if I ask you what is the value what is the output then let's see what it is this is a coming here this is a coming here this is B so at this point 
we are having a and b and then it's complement because it is a nand gate so a b and whole complement is one of the input to this gate and b is the another input so let's see what we are having at this point a b whole complement and b and then it's whole complement fine and when you open it down and when you open it down you will find it like you're having a i'm just trying to open this thing this complement thing then it will be a complement or b complement and there is b this b and then the whole complement of this thing now i'll try to open this bracket by distributive law so i'm having a complement b or b complement b and then whole complement you very well know that b complement b ended operation of b and b complement gives you zero so you are left with a complement b and it's complement so only thing i need to do is to complement it again if i complement it again what i'm having i'm having a complement b that's our borrow output so let's do it let's do this i just want to give it again to a not gate and you know how to make a not gate by using the nand gate you just keep the input same both the input same it will act as the not gate so we are having the borrow output as a complement b its whole complement and again we are uh, using a not gate so then complement and this complement this complement will be cancelled out and we are having borrow output as a complement b so this is how we have to implement the half subtractor by using the nand gate only so see you in the next